Comedy has been around for ages, and the way comedy is presented is on a constant change. After the discovery of film, comedy took a major turn, a turn that will make the fathers of comedy films legends. Charlie Chaplin was born in London on April 16, 1889. Both of Charlie's parents were performers. His father was a vocalist and an actor, and his mother was known for her stage name of Lily Harley. She was a singer and an actress. She was most known in the industry by her opera work. After the death of Charlie Chaplin's father and the sickness of his mother, he and his brother Sidney were sent to the workhouse but he was very much affected by what happened to him there. Later, he contributed his memories into his film, The Kid, in 1921. Since they inherited natural talent from their parents, the two young boys went on to take the stage as their career. Later on, Charlie joined a juvenile group called the Eight Lancashire Lads. Charlie proved to the people to be one of the best tap dancers. At the age of 14, Charlie got his first opportunity to appear in his first respected stage show as Billy the Page Boy, a support role in Sherlock Holmes. Shortly after, he started another career in vaudeville, which soon gives him the opportunity to sail to America 1910. 1914 was the first appearance of Charlie Chaplin in Kid Auto Races. And that was the birth of a star, a star that would go on to make over 80 movies that he wrote, directed, and starred in. Although Charlie was the biggest star of the silent era, there was other film directors and actors that rose such as Harold Lloyd, who was a great actor, director, and a producer. Even with all these comedians, there was something about Charlie that made the people want to watch him. His goofy, funny look attracted people the most. He is the man with the toothbrush mustache, bowler hat, bamboo cane, and a funny walk. The Great Dictator was the first film that Charlie has ever spoken in front of the camera. The movie was a funny act of imitating Hitler. Charlie's work went on to influence a great amount of people in the future. But one that went on to be the next Charlie Chaplin in his era, Rowan Atkinson, actor, writer, producer. Rowan was born in 1955 in Newcastle, United Kingdom to Ella May and Eric Atkinson. Rowan attended Newcastle University and Oxford University where he got his degree in electrical engineering. While Rowan was in school, 
He met with screenwriter Richard Curtis, with whom he teamed up with to work on comedy. Later on, Rowan created a character to be called Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's character went on to be the new comedy in the United Kingdom, with a new hit series with the title Mr. Bean. <laughs> As you can see, Rowan and Charlie are two funny individuals, and although Rowan has his own style, you still clearly see some influence from Charlie. Until now, Charlie Chaplin is remembered and still makes people laugh. As Charlie says, a day without laughter is a day wasted. Start a war. 